Run! Run! Everybody run! Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen where dreams become food. I firmly believe that every food deserves its fine dining moment just in the way that we all deserve our own moment to spruce ourselves up, put on that fancy outfit we've been saving for something. I know I've been saving my dress shorts for something special. Isn't that right, Nicole? Sure is, Josh. You look like you want a, a General Mills sponsored beauty pageant. Sponsored by milk. Can you call yourself Miss Milk? I'm Miss Milk. I used to be cream lady. <laughs> so what we're doing today, I'm gonna make you a fine dining dish out of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm gonna try and pull out all the stops, make it as fancy as possible. And the reason I want you to judge it is because you are the only person I trust to give your honest opinion. They're all so afraid of me. They won't tell me anything in my face. You cowards, <laughs> try to flip me off. <laughs> That's right, Josh. I promise to be 100% honest and uh, give you my true opinion. All right, well you go sit over there and practice your uh, world peace speech or whatever and I'm gonna get to cooking. We've broken this recipe down to three easy steps right there. We got a full written recipe down in the description. Let's do it. Let's get cooking. Before we talk about how to make a fine dining dish out of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, we must have first talk about Italian geography. Now let me take you on a trip to the Emilia Romagna region. That's just north of the Apennine mountain range along the Po River, the capital of which of course is Bologna. They are host to a dish that I find fascinating. I've eaten it multiple times, I've cooked it multiple times. It is delicious. It's called Maiale al Latte, AKA pig in milk. This is pig milk. Uh, so we're gonna make that right now. It is literally typically a pork shoulder that is braised. That's not what I wanna do. I'm gonna take my raw pork hands and I'm gonna Nobody eat the cereal. Now the cereal's mine because I touched it with my raw pork, so I'm gonna eat it. It's pork braised in milk, which is a really trippy dish. So I'm gonna take Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm gonna try and infuse all the sweetness of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch into that milk, and then I'm gonna use this as a braising liquid for the pork. And this is a really cool dish because the milk, uh, it like may or may not tenderize the pork. I'm not really sure if they say it does, like I haven't done the proper A-B testing, but there is like lactic acid in milk, which can help tenderize meat. Uh, but what it does is the milk actually curdles and creates this like really delicious, uh, what's a good word for scum? It creates positive scum. <laughs> That's really delicious in the dish. So I'm gonna use a pork belly because this is one of my favorite fine dining trends that people just making really dankity dank pork belly. And so I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna cut a diamond score into it. Does Nicole! somebody say diamonds? <laughs> no, I said scum. Oh man, I <laughs> like diamonds. Got it. I'm really excited to eat this. Thank Can you, you cook faster? Nope. You don't strike me as someone who would have competed in child beauty pageants, but you strike me as someone who would have like had a plan if you did. Is like, that I a feel compliment? Like, I feel like I feel like you're the type of person who's like, my talent would have been this, and my answer for this question would be this. No, I was never into beauty pageants because honestly, I was like a mediocre looking kid. I'm pretty mediocre what? looking adult. <laughs> oh, come on. You, you got things going for you. <laughs> now, you see, we're trying to like, what? It got pork all over me. Oh my God, don't wipe your gross pork on me. <laughs> the reason we're scoring the pork belly is because we're gonna braise this till it fats all nice and gelatinous. We're gonna get the salt all in there and then we're gonna dry it off and we're gonna drop it in the fryer. Nicole, it's gonna turn like nice chicharron I'm bored crispy now. pork. Stop it. I'm bored. Don't yell at Nicole. We did it. Look at it. Diamonds. Fancy. <laughs> so we got our scored pork belly. I'm gonna take salt and I'm gonna rub them in each and every crevice. All right, each and every crevice got salt in it now. No one touched the salt, there's raw pork in it. And then, you're gonna pop, oh, there's just the cereal there. Shoot! All right, so we're gonna take our cereal milk, and we're gonna, this is actual double cereal milk, because this is already cereal infused milk that we had in there, but now I'm double infusing it. Gonna hit it with one of those. Now you're gonna take your pork hands, you're gonna mash the cereal in there. Man, this is, save that for later. Now, aromatics. Nicole, does this feel like fine dining to you? This looks horrible so far. I think it's gonna be really delicious. Just wait, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. We're gonna take our aromatics. We got peppercorn, we got mustard seed, pork loves mustard, and cinnamon toast crunch. My theory here, pork takes really well to sweeter flavors, especially as compared to red meat or chicken or whatever. Uh, and so adding the cinnamon toast crunch in there, all we're doing is adding a little bit of sugar, which is gonna make this braising jus a little bit sweet, and cinnamon, which is a really delicious aromatic that I would add to a lot of braises. So to me, this really makes Makes sense. Now we're taking some porky herbs. We got sage, we got thyme, we got rosemary. Is that a band? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme? There's a, there's like a song with that. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're the one who's crazy. Okay. And now we're just gonna fill up our pig milk with pig milk. So now we're just gonna wrap this up, get it in the oven. We're gonna braise it for like, boo, like eight hours or something. We're gonna really let this go. I want all that fat to get nice and gelatinous. I want all that milk to curdle. Once I called up a pig farmer and I was like, why don't we drink pig milk? And he just went, tastes like crap. And I was like, sorry, sir. I'm gonna put this pork in the oven. I'll be back. Don't, no one eat the oven, I got raw pork on it. 
Now's about where things get a little dicey for us. This is it, here's your pig milk. And so if you see, let me just scrape off the aromatics off the top there. God, they're really stuck in there. So we pulled the pork out of the braise and we got it chilled down. Uh, it takes about 18 hours total if, if for those keeping track at home. <sighs> in my mind, this is, and I've done this before. I'm a professional, don't, don't mind me. This is the way to get crispy crackling skin on a pork belly because this is the way you make chicharrones is you cook the pork skin, then you dry it out and then you drop it in a fryer and then that's gonna puff up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some paper towels out. We're gonna go ahead and dry off this pork belly. This is gonna work. So we're gonna get, yeah. This is gonna work. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pop it back in the oven just to get it melted so I can like reduce this into a pan jus. Maybe if, if this doesn't work out, could we just like flip the graphics on it? And just be like, food crime. Now we can't get the herbs off of that and there's still a lot of positive scum on it. I don't reckon that's a taste I've ever had in my mouth before. And <laughs> that's exciting. It's all gonna come together, just you watch. We're gonna drop this in the deep fryer and then I'm gonna cover it with a splatter guard and run away. Run! Run, everybody run! Oh God! Woo, those noises! Well, someone's gotta take it out! It's not me! Who's gonna do it? Not me! He's an angry pig milk. The key to cooking is don't do this. I said there is a written recipe in the description. No, we deleted it. <laughs> don't do this at home or anywhere. Don't go to somebody else's home. Should I check it? Fear, fear, fear. Fear, fear, be careful, Josh. Fearless leader. Ah! It's fine, I have a splatter guard. Is this the top or the bottom? <laughs> I need a little more time. Sadly, this is all going according to plan. You know, sometimes these dishes that are like, this is a rustic tradition dating back to 1680, maybe leave it in 1685. Honestly, I was talking a lot about this pig milk earlier, my LA a lot, they just braise it in better things. You know, I don't know, maybe the pig milk ain't worth it. No, it's doing, it's doing it. Maybe I just gotta poke it. All right, so this beautiful pork belly's been frying off and nothing bad has happened for just a couple minutes. Oh. <laughs> I mean, shoot, I mean, shoot. Let's check it. Ah, oh, we got it. We're going back to the center of the earth. Pork's done. Okay, this is more or less what I was anticipating. We're gonna take all that pig scum, and we're just gonna get that slopping out of there. So that's gonna be a lot of the starch from that cinnamon toast crunch, and then all the curdled milk. We're gonna jimmy out the juice from the cinnamon toast crunch, and then we're gonna reduce this into a nice little pan jus. Nicole, are you excited about this? More than I have ever been more excited about anything before. That's so nice. I'm gonna drop in a little bit of apple cider vinegar into this. We're gonna bring it up to a boil. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar and then cinnamon sugar. I'm Now I'm just making stuff up on the fly. Cinnamon sugar and then it's gonna be a sauce. <laughs> Whereas we were just in Northern Italy cooking a perfectly executed pork dish, now let me transport you to the south of France. South of France. Where are we going? So we are going down to Southern France. It's along the Mediterranean. You got like Marseille, you got Nice down there. That's uh -huh. cinnamon sugar. <laughs> I know. Uh, we're making panisse, and I know you're familiar with panisse, Nicole. I've never actually made panisse before. I know what chez panisse is, but I don't know what actual panisse is. Chez panisse, legendary California cuisine restaurant headed by Alice Waters that spawned some of the nation's greatest chefs like Jeremiah Tower. And David Leibowitz. And David Lee. He actually blogged about panisse, which is how I found out about panisse, which is really oh, funny. Cool. It is a chickpea fritter that is made with chickpea flour, similar to that the way you make like polenta and then chill it, cut it and fry it. We're gonna be doing that, but with chickpea flour, I think it's gonna be a really nice, God, I thought that was necessary. manager over here. I thought that here. was necessary. Was, I was gonna do it. I think it needs a little bit more salt. So we're gonna blend up the cinnamon toast crunch with the chickpea flour uh -huh. and really infuse it in there. Then we're gonna cook that with water. We're gonna set it in these little molds to get perfect mm. cubes. I think it's gonna be a nice little, you're gonna get the pork is gonna be crispy on the outside, gushy on the inside. I want this to be crispy on the outside, gushy on the inside, but give you like a sort of different, like a starch on the plate that's gonna soak up some of that pan jus. Oh crud, oh, which way is on? No. Josh. We're gonna try and grind the cinnamon toast crunch into flour. Do you, do you have a lot of hope for this dish right now? Oh. Something about like the atomic bomb noises that were going off. Yeah, I think that's good though. Was it? Yeah, you know, you wanna be a little bit scared by your food. Eat something that scares you every day. <laughs> I like to reach in the blade to Josh, it's get so it. very dangerous. Yeah, I've cut you myself a couple cook. times. All right, uh, yeah, you wanna cook? Here, stir this up. Uh, I got, told well, I got you not to cook because I look too pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go sit. Nicole's hair ends up all the way everywhere in this kitchen. I shed like a German shepherd. All right, so we're just gonna whisk this up. We're gonna let it come to a boil, then it's gonna thicken and we're gonna get it into that there mold. 
All right, our cinnamon toast hummus grits have come together and now we're just gonna take this and it's a very delicate filling process where I'm gonna fill all the holes. Hold on, no, I'm gonna fill all the holes and I'm gonna scrape it. You'll see. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to it but to do it. And then I'm gonna take this here uh, scrapey device and then just scrape it right off and then you get hummus grits for later. What does it taste like? That's hummus grits. It is really hummus grits. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then holy crap, that was so fast, wow. It was really pretty, we did these before. Also, there's one missing because I got hungry and I ate one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these out of their little holes and then we'll just rest them there. And then we're just gonna pop them in the fryer. This isn't gonna taste like what I thought it was gonna taste like, um, all of it. But I'm still pretty confident that I think Nicole's gonna really, that one, fu that one fudged up. She's gonna really like it and be really impressed. And now we're gonna just get them nice and crispy. We're gonna kind of put them face down on, well, yeah, one of these, one of the sides looks better than the other. Maybe this is like a stick to your wheelhouse, Josh. Maybe make a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna drop these in the old, this one, prior. Then we're gonna dust them in cinnamon sugar. What the f Oh, God. We keep putting wet things in the oil. Oh, maybe pan frying was the way to go. If the directive was, can you make tater tots but gross, then I did it. And it's all about reframing your mindset. Here's the thing, there's one simple hack to achieving the life you've always wanted and it's just to, it's mindset. Buy my ebook. You know what, these are done. We'll get a couple perfect squares out of them. Kind of turn into bloated, messed up pizza rolls. It's gonna be good. The flavors are there. We know the flavors are there. We're gonna trim them up. They're just rustic. They're from the south of France. You ever been to the south of France? Exactly. And so now I'm just gonna dust them in cinnamon sugar, just like they do in Nice. The key to dusting is going in as far apart as possible so all the cinnamon sugar just ends up on the bottom. I'm just gonna give it a little haircut. Oh, oh, hey now. You're an all-star. You're an all-star, Panisse. That's good. Oh, hold on, this is gonna be good. Huh? No, now it tastes like dessert hummus. All right, let's do it. Well, we got the pork that almost killed us that's been braised in cinnamon milk. We got the pig milk pork. We got the crunchy hummus grit squares. Those are pretty cool. And now we got some fine garnish work to do over here. So we got here, these are simply some Granny Smith apples that have been pickled with a little bit of fresh ginger root and cinnamon. Figure ginger, cinnamon, sugar, apples, pork, these things all work together. So I'm gonna take these apple squares. Give me your apple meats. And then I'm gonna put them in a little bowl and I'm gonna dress these up a little bit. This is gonna be a nice little acidic counterpoint. Counterpoint. This is gonna be a nice little acidic counterpoint to all the fat and sugar that we got going on. All right, so we're gonna take our apples in a bowl and I'm gonna take a little bit of whole pickled mustard seeds. I'm gonna add that to the apples. I'm gonna take some basil oil. It's simply basil, it's been blended with olive oil and strained. Best thing about basil oil is green. Apples is green, that's green. You mix it all together, you got a little green mustard apples. That's fun. I think it's gonna be nice. I think this is gonna work out. Now I'm gonna take some of this pan juice. So we took that pan juice, we added some apple cider vinegar to it, mounted it with a little bit of butter, hit it with some black pepper. Now I'm just gonna take some Jew, flood the middle of the plate with it. Now we start slicing up this pork. Oh, that's a good visual of the pork belly in there though. Super, super supple and tender. There we go. Beautiful, let's see this pork belly. I mean, that is a really nicely cooked. We, you know, we, we burnt the bottom a little bit. But other than that, this is a really gorgeous piece of pork belly in there. So now I'm gonna take the pork belly. And I'm just gonna kind of like lay a couple slices along that lacquer right there. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna take just a couple crispy squares. These are sort of mimicking the cinnamon toast of the cinnamon toast crunch. And also it mimics the crunch. Now I'm gonna take some of our delightful little apple garnish and I'm just gonna put a nice little spoonful of that apple relish on top of each piece of pork. Yes, now I'm gonna dot some basil oil, run basil oil around the plate. And now just a couple sprigs of microgreens just to sort of dress this up a little bit and then just a little bit more sauce on the inside. Well, there you have it. There's our fancy, should I like show it to him? I'll show it to him. There it is. We have our cinnamon toast crunch cereal milk braised pork belly, a play on Maiale a latte from Bologna, the Emilia Romagna region. We got our cinnamon toast crunch panisse, that's from the south of France on the Mediterranean, that is the Marseillaise speaking through us. We have our pickled apple, mustard seed, basil oil, relish, uh, micro broccoli, a little bit of basil oil on the outside. I think this looks dank, dude. I was talking, I was, I was, you know what? Negative self talk is poison. Don't do it. You're, you are worthy, you are better than that. You deserve the world. You deserve pig milk. Nicole! 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 Yeah, I'm right Nicole! here. You know where I'm sitting. Hey, Nicole. Wow. Here we have the final dish. So we got that maiale a latte cereal milk braised pork belly. It's been fried crispy. We got the crispy cinnamon sugar panisse squares on there. A little bit of reduced pan jus, kind of went uh, agridulce on it with some apple cider vinegar, some more cinnamon, mm -hmm. then a ginger pickled apple in mustard seed relish. I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of fresh 
Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yes. All over the top. If this is a fine dining restaurant, I'd call this cinnamon wheat soil. Bone apple teeth. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm not gonna give any like commentary until no. I actually like, yeah, 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 yeah. like enjoy yeah, 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 the dish. Get, get the, also, that my sauce work bled because Ben bent the plate down. Hey, we're that's okay. Pictures. Don't blame your misfortunes on other people. That's not right. Wow, cuts very nicely. Oh, it's tender. We'll get the relish. Put the relish on. Hold on. Don't teach me how to eat. The relish is on the pork. You eat it with the relish. Don't teach me how to eat, boy. I know how to eat. That's good. Mmm. I like watching you eat. It's like a mukbang, but in real life. You seem confused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you confused about? It seems pretty straightforward dish. Mm -mm. I'm, ex I'm, exper <laughs> I'm experiencing <laughs> a lot of flavors that I've never tasted before. You and me both. And that's very exciting for me because you know, mm -hmm. I'm so used to eating so many things. I'm never really shocked by a plate of food, but I'm not only shocked, I'm confused. I'm a little uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I don't know where I'm going with this, but mm -mm. like it, it hurts my brain a little. Yeah, is that I, in a good way or a bad way? Cause uh, uh, you know, I like having new flavors. Yeah, me too. What's confusing? I mean, it has the cook on the pork. I mean, Does the garnish work well with it? Is the, is the jus yeah. seasoned I mean, properly? It's a delicious plate of food, and I think I think you're successful in your delicious plate of food. But I don't really taste a lot of cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. I feel like it's a little bit muddled. I think I'm gonna give it one more honest yeah, yeah. to god bite because yeah, yeah. I think it deserves it. One more bite to determine yeah, yeah. if this is a successful dish. If exactly. I have actually elevated the cinnamon toast mm -hmm, crunch. Mm -hmm. It's just not cinnamon toast crunchy enough. Oh, Nicole, I tried to move mountains for you. You always try. I tried home. to part the Red Sea of culinary innovation. It's good, but I feel like you could have done more. Yeah, honestly, I, I hammered the pork. Yeah. Yeah, could have done a better cook on that. Mm -hmm. you, you got no flavor from the cinnamon toast crunch of the pork. I'm still nibbling very on it. Very little. Try, because there was a lot that went in there. Yeah, I know. But mm. hey, guess what your punishment is? What? You get to clean the fryers. Oh, uh, so you're saying I did not elevate the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chile. I don't officially. think you did. That's fair. I still think we put together a great plate of food. Uh, I'm very proud of this dish. A couple things I would have done different, but hey, you got to wear a fancy dress. That's fun. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little piece of your own food if that's uh. okay. You want it? Okay, hold on. Uh, Wait, I know. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, 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 <laughs> sea lion's hungry. Uh, uh, uh. Do you taste uh. any Cinnamon Toast Crunch in there? Spit out. It's okay. Spit out. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. That's okay. No, the pan, <laughs> the pork's good. The pan juice is good. Yeah. The relish is good. These little squares of hummus mush are gross as hell. All right, I was disgusting. You eating those? I kind of, I kind of like it. Oh gosh, like someone tried to make tater shots out of oatmeal. I'm proud of this dish. This is a really, this is a really fun time. I'm really mm -hmm. stoked on what we created. Mm -hmm. Nicole, thank you so much for your honest feedback. This is the exact reason. Don't tongue out the middle. Thanks so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got a new episode for you every week. We got a new episode of me and Nicole's podcast, the Hot Dogs and Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your dang podcast. Hit us up on Instagram <laughs> at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag Dreams Become Food. We'll see you next time. Bye. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron, available now at mythical.com.